Recently, Nobel Prize winner Adam Rees revealed that we may have entirely misunderstood the universe. He's not alone in this assertion. Many renowned scientists are echoing his sentiments. Following discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, the universe appears far stranger than we thought. Just a few days ago, we discussed Zhulong, the largest Milky Way-like galaxy discovered. This galaxy formed far too early in the universe's history, challenging our understanding of galaxy evolution. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered something even more alarming. Astronomers have discovered a colossal barred spiral galaxy named J0107A, dating back 11.1 billion years. This galaxy is just one-fifth the current age of the universe, which is shocking. Researchers used the ALME Observatory and the James Webb Space Telescope for this discovery. J0107A has a well-defined spiral structure with a central bar similar to our Milky Way. However, it's over 10 times more massive and forms stars at 300 times the rate of our galaxy. Remarkably, J0107 it shows an organized structure during a time when most galaxies were chaotic. Surprisingly, it shows no evidence of mergers or collisions defying our understanding. The calm and isolated formation of J0107A during such a turbulent time challenges our theories. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope captured a deep view of the universe, igniting debate. This observation took over 120 hours, marking the longest time Webb focused on a single target. The resulting image displays spinning arcs of light, representing galaxies from the cosmic dawn. This period was when the universe was only a few million years old. Scientists realized something striking. The deeper we look, the more puzzling surprises we uncover. They believed the James Webb Space Telescope would reveal how galaxies formed after the Big Bang. However, Webb's latest findings have created a storm in the field of astronomy. Researchers now suggest we might be observing an entirely different universe filled with mysteries. What exactly did Webb see in its latest observations, and why the shift in perspective? Back in 2016, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery. It identified a galaxy called GNZ-11, the most distant and oldest known galaxy at that time. The light from GNZ-11 took 13.4 billion years to reach us, revealing its early existence. We saw it as it was just 400 million years after the Big Bang, a mere fraction of time. What's more surprising is that GNZ-11 was unexpectedly bright, large, and actively forming stars. This observation puzzled scientists, as a galaxy like this shouldn't have existed so soon. Many thought GNZ-11 was a rare exception or a cosmic anomaly. Most other galaxies observed by Hubble fit perfectly with our cosmological models. Thus, there wasn't much pressure to rethink our theories until everything changed in 2022. The James Webb Space Telescope began its operations revealing a flood of surprises in its first deep field image, Webb detected several galaxies breaking distance records. One galaxy, named Jade's GSC-12, existed just 350 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery sent shockwaves through the astronomy community. If GNZ-11 wasn't alone, other similar galaxies could mean a serious flaw in our understanding. As Webb continued its observations, things became even more puzzling. Webb began finding distant and luminous objects, leaving scientists uncertain about their nature. Are they galaxies, supermassive black holes, or something else entirely? These objects appear to have existed as early as 300 million years after the Big Bang. The biggest problem is that our standard models of the universe don't predict these findings. Until recently, the most distant known galaxy was Glass Z, 14-0 existing 290 million years after the Big Bang. Its size so early in the universe's history challenges our understanding of galaxy formation. Just when scientists thought they had seen everything, Webb spotted something even more puzzling. An object named MMZ-14, dating back to just 280 million years after the Big Bang, was discovered. 
Memi Z14 exhibits a redshift of 14.44 comma surpassing the previous record holder. This discovery completely defies our current understanding of the early universe. Scientists still don't know what it is. A galaxy, black hole, or something else entirely. Whatever it is, it shouldn't exist this early according to our current models. The search for early massive galaxies doesn't end at a redshift of 15. Scientists have found numerous galaxies at redshifts of 15 to 30, sparking further research. Some of these galaxies show multiple redshift values needing further testing. Some galaxies are strong candidates for redshifts greater than 15. Recent research suggests that if even a fraction are truly at redshifts greater than 15, it would signify a significant tension with existing theoretical models. With each new discovery, scientists uncover galaxies that are far more massive and structured. These galaxies appear just a few million years after the Big Bang. The sudden emergence of bright, well-formed galaxies raises serious questions. Their existence hints that the cosmos may hold more surprises than we imagined. Many scientists argue that our models explain the universe's evolution up to a redshift of 10. But beyond that, the universe looks dramatically different from our predictions. No existing theory can fully explain what we observe in the early universe. It's not just about galaxies existing earlier than expected. Scientists have also observed that the universe's expansion rate isn't uniform. This suggests that dark energy, believed to drive expansion, is evolving and weakening. This discovery challenges a core assumption of the standard cosmological model. It even proves Einstein wrong on the cosmological constant being truly constant. All these findings suggest we might be missing a fundamental piece of the puzzle, or perhaps something strange happened in the early universe that we don't grasp. Our theories have no clue about it, as we look back to a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. This is when one of the first galaxies formed, already hosting a supermassive black hole. This emphasizes the problem of explaining the formation of supermassive black holes. There isn't much time between the Big Bang and these early galaxies hosting such massive black holes. Until now, studying the local universe traced back to cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation sits at a redshift of about Z equal 1100. Scientists concluded the universe began as a hot, infinitely dense point known as the Big Bang. Now, the shocking discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are forcing a re-evaluation. The unexpected presence of massive structured galaxies just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang confounds models. As a result, some scientists are exploring alternative theories beyond the traditional Big Bang. One idea suggests other universes may have existed before ours, interacting in early moments. Some speculative models propose parallel universes filled with dark matter connected through extra dimensions. Another fascinating theory suggests the existence of a mirror universe running backward in time. Among these theories, one gaining attention is conformal cyclic cosmology, or CCC. Proposed by physicist Sir Roger Penrose, it suggests our universe is part of a cycle of rebirth. Penrose claims faint imprints of a previous universe may be visible in cosmic microwave background radiation. Interestingly, early galaxies discovered by the James Webb Telescope may align with CCC predictions. This adds weight to the idea that our universe might be far older or more complex than imagined.